Hey there, folks. Welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 2. I'm the Mysterious JG, and we're halfway through Jacob's mission. Uh, Jacob's loyalty mission, where apparently Saeed is going to put a father in Jacob's... A uh, father in Jacob's spine's spine. A ni knife's spine. He's going to put a knife in Jacob's father's spine because the CO of this ship decided that it would be a good idea to make his people eat toxic foods so they'll become retarded and he can rape them. That's what appears to be going on. I'm thinking when we meet this guy and talk to him, there has to be some kind of explanation that isn't that. Please, here. You could end it. It's Dr. Anastasia. I think it really is. Um, we did hear the doctor earlier. She sounded kind of British -y. You have his face. But you fight his machines. You might stop this. Stop it. This, I forget Fire how out. to read. But this was the start what he promised and what they did to us we need the sky take us back to the sky we're waiting <laughs> the douche take us back to the sky and then i'll have one of the most desired bodies in the world to be part of my lady x jacob what does it say it's a cool log some of them thought the beacon repair was taking too long. They were afraid they'd run out of supplies and lose their minds to the decay. My father restricted the ship food for himself and the other officers so they wouldn't be affected. Everybody else had to eat the toxic food and hope for treatment later. Mm -hmm. The rest is a casualty list. A few mutinied over the decision. My father and his officers turned the mechs on them. Mm, harsh but defendable. Yeah, it's been ten years. What the hell? It wasn't command material, and it got to him. Couldn't keep the crew in line without violence. It didn't stop there. More incidents, harsh punishments. It's like they're cattle. Or toys. In a year, all the male crew members are flagged as exiled or dead. They separated out the women. Assigned them to officers. Like pets. Tamagotchis After or pet rocks? After the is fixed, the officers appear in the casualties, too. After father took control and didn't stop it. Yeah, it seems like kind of a jerk. Separated the women? Sounds like fun. Does it say why he separated the men and the women? Or is it as bad as it seems? No, it turns to gibberish. Maybe the men got violent early on, but from the state of this place, I'd say the hunter thing is recent. What he allowed here, Shepard? I don't see any justification. Well, you know, I mean, women are inferior beings. Men only for breeding stock. I don't think that, folks. I'm kidding. We haven't seen any other officers. He killed them? There were five after the What crash. do you think? Officers have, like, different colored hair from everyone staff. else? Should have had no problem. How do you know they're not officers? Keep people safe. All killed within the same week. About a month after the beacon was repaired. Anything in there about whether the effects of the toxic food can be treated? Nothing. But it seems like the right call. If everyone gets it, who's left to fix the beacon? never get out but they did fix it and the signal wasn't sent until now I'm starting to see why he might be embarrassed about his retarded girl sex camp so why call for oh help fuck now? I accidentally chose the wrong the survivor I didn't choose the middle of the top one everything he did is coming back to bite him in the ass nine years why didn't he set it right? I meant to choose the I top right path man. I don't think I can be bothered to it's just possible we missed Paragon points, but we've maxed out our Paragon, so I think we're okay. Confront Taylor. We got two Paragon points, but we could have gotten more. Oh, damn it. Confront Tim the Toolman Taylor. Let's set the inactive mech to explode. Blow up inactive mech. Probably want to not be right there. Ouch. This is Captain Ronald Taylor. Thank God you're here. My crew went insane. I only just got free. Turn and send in the membrane. with people who've been made stupid by alien food. 
That rotted old corpse looked like a warning. The newer ones look like they died there. The hunters started fighting back. You're the hunter from the future? Or is he from the, 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 the present? Seriously, guys, why are you... I thought he accepted that we're coming for him, nigga. I mean, why is they sending him back? Or did he lose control of the Max at some point? Stunner! Stunner? What are you, Stone Cold? Sorry, concussive shot! He had plenty of choices. It's never too late to blame your victims. bad that we even fought those couple of hunters who lived in that tiny little path between where we started and uh... Get over here. Get over here. Thank you, Sub-Zero or Scorpion or whoever. Now what's this? Headshots shouldn't matter. But they probably do. Come on up! His, like, I am pulling you towards me with psychic power dialogue is lame as hell. Sorry to remember why I never used Jacob. Have a nice trip. Come on over. Other stupid shit. Oh. Fuck, I better just get out of here, actually. Guerrero bot. She got to call him Steve Martin in that previous video. Excuse me. Look, stop talking, buddy. You know, son, I, I know you think I'm an evil rapist monster, but um, I care about you. Here, eat some of this retardo food to, uh... I've prepared a delicious retardo food meal to show you how much I care. Yes, folks, retardo food. New from Chef Boyard, retardo food. I have another pointless firefight with robots, or yeah, we are. Okay. Jacob, sorry. Maybe he's Jacob Zuma. Selfish parts and get credits, and then other stuff. Get some power cells too, and lots of fun. Oh, 
we just I was about to save and we just auto saved, so Oh now it's like these guys instead of the robots. Whatever. Doesn't even need to make sense. Why did that guy have shields? I thought they'd like been here for a long time and they didn't know how to use technology and whatever. Now there's a Loki mech too? I thought these guys were like enemies of the robot. What the hell's going on? Oh, this right one's been brainwashed. Uh, they're really not bothering to give us much of an explanation for why we have to fight who we have to fight. <laughs> yeah, Jacob, you fuck like that. Coming after me! Jacob was a good target, wasn't he? I've got him! Running down it! Going weapons! Going up! Nothing smoke, that's where I'd like to be. Over here. That's right. Jacob is kind of a with the toys. I need to look my father in the eye and hear him justify this. I'm gonna wreck these two. <laughs> Jacob is some kind of combination of Rembrandt and Scorpion. <laughs> Get over here and wreck these toys. Yeah, I'm tough. I'm destroyed. Fresh, great. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'll run up to it, lean against it briefly, and destroy it. Shepard's badass. Alright, don't want to miss any loot. Uh, that feels like it was probably the final battle of the chapter. I don't remember this being a particularly difficult chapter combat-wise. Not that I didn't manage to get myself killed at least once, but, you know, goofing around. <laughs> nice jump, Jacob. <laughs> No, don't open. Mustn't let them. I just don't want to miss loot. Mustn't let them. There's Jacob's dad. Doesn't seem to want to let me kill him. Jacob might get that opportunity later. We just saved. Thinking. Might be more than one dialogue approach you get to take here. So this is this like little private pleasure dome, huh? And Xanadu did Kublai Khan a stately pleasure dome decree. A wonderful palace staffed by girls who eat it, eaten retardo You're food. here. I knew a real squad would blow through just fine. I knew Jacob would be Sorry here. Sorry if the mech scuffed your pants. I'll get you something nice when we get back to Alliance Space. We've got to have some back pay coming. <laughs> what about your crew, <laughs> yeah. Captain? Oh, hey, Total Jacob. loss. The toxic food turned them wild. They propped me up here in some kind of ritual behavior. Waiting for a chance to signal has been hell. That's the best you can do? You let all your people talk back like that? <laughs> Who are you exactly? I assume you're in command and not that guy because you're white. I mean, seriously, why the what the hell was that? Hey, he doesn't recognize Jacob. I, yeah, it's been ten years. Okay, maybe that makes sense. But uh, it's like I can tell you're in command because uh, neither of them are wearing uniforms. He should recognize. I mean, maybe the N7 thing is a more standard uniform than I thought. Commander Shepard of the Normandy. I believe you're acquainted with Mr. Taylor. Taylor? Jacob? No. Not Jacob. Why not me? 
Would ten years of this look better to anyone else in the galaxy? You have to understand, this isn't me. The realities of command, they You have to understand, you. the odds that you would be the one to fun. find me are ridiculous. I made sure you were taught right. Before I left, I hoped to leave it at that. Uh huh. I guess, uh, maybe the idea that Jacob's the only one who could be bothered to. Ch no, it doesn't make sense. Don't let me talk myself into thinking it makes sense. This ship has been missing. The Alliance would have sent somebody to look for it. The idea that Jacob is the only one who had any interest in it. I mean, even if only people who had family members on the ship would ever go looking for it, which is not true. Since they landed on a garden world that the humans were going to colonize. The idea that nobody else other than Jacob would go looking and that Jacob is the one who's you know, family member who was part of the crew happens to be the one who took over. No, it doesn't make sense. I'm not unreasonable, Captain, but ten years? What happened? Hey, man, you ever had God sex with army retarded girls? It's good. Why did you do this to your crew? Hey, it's there another was resistance one of to the plan. Ronald's kids. Mutiny. We had to take a hard line to keep order. And things settled down. As the decay set in, we made sure the crew were comfortable. Some even seemed happier. Ignorance is bliss, right? And they were grateful for guidance, like an instinct. Pure authority was easy at first. You're a Once weird in, dude. The effect lowered inhibitions. They got territorial, rank, protocol. They couldn't understand. Mm -hmm. We had to establish dominance. After a while, the perks seemed normal. That's Zane, it. Why don't you go look you at this guy? You harem and play king. Ten years in a juvenile fantasy? I can't point to where it all went wrong. But when the beacon was ready, revealing what happened didn't seem like a good idea. I don't know, maybe I was looking after my own career interests. Yeah, you murdered the other officer. What officers. happened to the that's, other officers? That's kind of messed up. Anders found his conscience a little late to step back. He had an accident. Things got tense. End of the day, I was the one with a mechs. I got a little basic in setting examples. But I was kind to my people once things settled down. Seemed like I'd earned some peace. Oh, yeah, You definitely. fought over people like they were toys. Things. But don't judge me just because I turned uh, the women into a bunch of retarded sex slaves and sent the men into exile. I mean, what would you have done in my position? <laughs> Sorry, this is... This is one of the more absurd, melodramatic little side stories. Like, you know, what would you do in this situation, folks? You wouldn't get in this situation because this situation is ridiculous. The stories from the ship couldn't last forever. You had to know this would end one day. Dining for one can really stretch things out. Besides, I can think of a lot worse retirement plans than stripping down and joining the droolers. That was before the hunters, of course. Dumb or not, I'd feel it if they got their hands on me now. They want blood. I'd prefer to keep it. <laughs> it's all about you. Everything. <laughs> you were selfish in turning the women into a bunch of retarded sex slaves. <laughs> Maybe somebody will come back and be offended that I'm using the, you know, oh, I'm using the word retarded. Somebody might, might take offense to that. But see, I, yeah, I mean, that's my interpretation of what's going on. I mean, can somebody tell me otherwise? Isn't that what they've told us, that... He forced the women to become, like, kind of subhuman intelligence level, and then he has harems to please him. I mean, that's what happened, right? <laughs> you didn't feel any responsibility to get out of here for the sake of family? I don't know what I had retarded sex with. He was a smart kid and was better off not following me. Yeah, I'm no we kidding. figured that out a long time before I took jobs in deep space. And after things escalated here, it seemed best to just disappear off the galactic map. Until you needed someone to save your ass. Oh, Jacob, don't take it personal. I mean, don't get offended just because he turned an army of women into sex. Yeah. <laughs> the dramatic music isn't helping. This story, this story is so stupid. What triggered the males to change and threaten you? This planet has some strange cycles to it. I've seen some plants around I never saw before. Odd weather. Maybe some just adapted a little too Maybe well. Maybe they wanted their own hair. Treat them like animals. Big shock. They become animals. Good point, Jacob. You really, you really zinged him 
on that whole turning people into retards thing. We can help these people. We have the technology. Cerberus can have ships here in days and pull everyone out. Cerberus? He's not worth the I don't really haul him out them. or the air he's breathing. He's damn lucky I don't think he's even worth pulling the trigger. Yeah, whatever. I don't know who you are, because you're not any father I remember. I'd shoot him. Leave him in the hell he made. Die in your golden hell! Now we have to take him to justice, because like Shepard's Mr. everyone gets a prison term deed. We'll secure him for an alliance court. For every year here, he'll have ten to think about it. And no retarded Give sex all the time in the galaxy. The man who did this doesn't know right from wrong. I'm sorry, Jacob. So I did the know. best I could. <laughs> I'm ten years past believing that. Oh, we're not gonna let these guys murder him? I figured that's where this was going. I guess we could probably, if we didn't choose a pair of path, that's probably what I have. But there you go, folks. We broke up Jacob's dad's retarded sex serum. <laughs> I've used the word retarded. Well, that's it's one of those words you're not supposed to use. I've used it like 800 times in this video. But these guys wrote, they didn't use that word, but they wrote it like a deadly, serious, earnest story about a guy who made a harem out of women who, because of like food poisoning, basically lost their human intelligence. <laughs> Survivors from Aisha. Hey, they, they reached Aisha levels of intelligence and sexiness. Sorry, Aisha. I should, I should be more grateful. You're going to save the world, yo. Come on. Survivors from Aisha are being treated by Alliance personnel with additional server support. No. No. <sighs> Cerberus. Yeah, I mean, you remember the first game, right? No want to spoil anything for the third game. Don't necessarily want to give the elusive man a whole population of humans to play with. He was doing experiments on creating husks in the first game. That was one of the plot points that we came across in the side missions. Pleased to see Taylor unharmed psychologically by experience, because he's such a good friend. Jacob Taylor has dealt with his father and is now focused solely on the mission. He's dealt with his daddy issues. He can now use Barrier, which is basically an Asari power, but he gets used in this game because whatever. But only once he gets past his daddy issues is he able to unlock the awesome power of something that Asari could just do anyway. Asari don't necessarily have daddy issues. They just have to wait around for a while and their daddy dies and their mommy's still around for generations afterwards. I suppose technically most of us outlive our father, so it's not really a, an Asari thing. But uh, the idea about living your father by like uh, thousands of years because they're from a completely different species, that's more of an Asari thing. Ships are inbound to secure Captain Taylor and his crew, Commander. We'll be long gone by the time they get here. Whatever. I lurk in the shadows. Don't even give them the tail lights. Roger that. What do you mean it wasn't you? Hi, right, guys. I'm interrupting. If I had leaked the information about the Gurns back, I would be smiling at your resolution of the situation. I am not smiling. You should have fed him to the hunters. <laughs> Nothing goes through this ship, my ship, without a report to you. I had That's no how I like it. believe Jacob's father was alive than he did, but I'm happy to know the situation is behind you. Fine, you didn't forward it, so who did? I did. Your mom. <sighs> Hi, guys. <laughs> hey. Mm. It's interesting, they actually cut, to, they cut back and forth after the dialogue stopped. But this was apparently our, st our, our shot. They don't keep going back and forth between the elusive man and Granny Shepherd. This is it. I didn't. I forwarded it. Hi, how you doing? It's like your mom forwarded it, but maybe like that's his mom. Figures. Who else could get into Cerberus channels? It was hardly classified, just obscure. There was a time when it mattered it's to obtuse. you. Like Sending you. this along seemed like keeping an old promise. I keep my promises. Miranda, we'll discuss your liberal interpretation of security protocol in private. Shepard, Jacob. You guys exist. You wanna make out now? Or? Oh, it's a very special moment that is shared. I guess. Surprise about Miranda? I didn't know she was there either. Pretty scary, huh? You good with this, Jacob? It's all bull, Shepard. Captain <laughs> Taylor can rot in prison. It doesn't change who I am or what I know. I've already mourned the man he used to be. I guess he was a good enough father that even he can't screw up what he taught me. 
That makes sense. He was a good father. And he was a good father to all the illegitimate children he fathered through his retardo hero. <laughs> you had no idea Miranda was behind this? No, she's no, very quiet. I don't know she's she was standing right memory. there. Selective, but good. I haven't thought about those days in a long time. Man, Can't I figure which promise she meant, though. Knock the headboard apart sure with her I head. Want to know. She requires a better man than I. I don't have the girth to please her, Shepard. <laughs> that may come as a surprise to you, as a Caucasian man. But even I, no, I, what the fuck is wrong with me? It's late, I need to stop this recording session. <laughs> Some men are intimidated by my size, Shepard. Yet others come to rely on my girth to find their pleasure. <laughs> My mind is going in a bad direction thanks to this video. This is retardo harem. Come on, we've got work to do. I, Commander. Shepard. Shepard. Thanks for the help. Big man. One time only. There's no reason to be a dick here. Why would you. Anytime, Jacob. Anytime your father starts a new retardo harem, we'll go kill him. We'll kill a bunch of guys who are innocent on our way to arresting him. Welcome to the Retardo Harem, Shepard. You're gonna What's die. this area of the ship? What? The Normandy <laughs> I've been here like 30 times, but what is this place? Okay, so we've got almost maxed out uh, pistols. So our sniper rifle damage is at 4 or 5. That's nice. Headshot damage has been upgraded. Our shotgun damage, for whatever reason, we haven't been finding those upgrades. The uh, Metagel is almost maxed in capacity. We got all the heavy weapon ammo almost maxed. Our like actual life boost stuff is not maxed. There's probably some stuff we need to go back to the, sh the sh shops of Omega, the Citadel, Ilium, and possibly to Chanka even, and uh, go buying upgrades. But, um, yeah, I mean, obviously the ones I care most about. Anything that increases our survivability, of course. But uh, I'm going to be all about the sniper rifle stuff, and it looks like I've got most of those. There may be another boost, like, I don't know, if there's headshot damage boost, there might be another sniper rifle, like, one-shot boost that I'm not aware of, but it seems like if we get the 5 out of 5 on sniper rifle damage, we're already using the best sniper rifle, the Widow. At least that's the best one in this game. So, yeah, that's good. All upgrades can be developed in the Normandy. That's all for now. Upgrades, upgrades complete. Shepherd. Yeah, whatever, shut up. Thanks for diverting to the Gurns back, Shepard. Thanks a little bit, I man. appreciate being able to clean up that mess. And don't worry. It will not affect how I do my job. It's over. I'm down. You're down right. It's over. Um. How are we doing, Jacob? What's your sense of the mission? Felt good to take that collector ship, but we need to find a way to take it to them. That's a big step. May as well be out in airlock. Yeah, Anything nice else, you're Commander? How are we doing, Jacob? What's your sense of the mission? I thought it felt good to take uh, that. I didn't Anything else, Commander? mean to pick the same one. What do you think of the state of the crew? Yeah. Unless all distractions are removed, loyalty to the mission will suffer. Run this team through hell, and all we're getting is burned. Anything else, Commander? That's the best job they could do of making him stay in character while saying, Perform loyalty missions. Before. I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Shut up, Jacob. Already? I'm not big on forcing these talks, Shepard. Wow, Shepard, I just had a huge way. change in my life. Saw my father brought to justice for horrible crimes I never knew he committed. But frankly, we just talked like two minutes ago, so I really don't see that anything to come up we need to talk about. It. We'll talk later. Commander. Fucking Jacob. <laughs> I don't know. It's this game. <laughs> I forget what he said. I, for now I'm like checking with Joker after every mission. I forget what he said about Jacob, so let's find out. I'm sure that it has come up earlier in the LP. We know what he says about Zayu. He's like you, but takes charge. That, um, the stuff oh. with Jacob's dad, it's bullshit, right? Because it looked like bullshit to me. You don't believe that he had a harem of retardos? What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last, Jacob is way too nice a guy for the number of ways he knows how to kill people. Zaid is like you, but takes checks. As long as it's not my money, we're good. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need That's to it for now. See you, Commander. It's really my opinion. Oh, shut up, Joe. 
I guess since I'm ending the video, I'll check up on um, Garrus and uh, what's his face, Thane, because I don't remember whether I did conversations with them after doing their loyalty missions. I might not have, and if I didn't, then I should probably knock them out now. Got to knock them out now, man. See you, Commander. Wouldn't want to be a commander. Life support, that's where Judy Ackman is. And by Judy Ackman, I of course mean Thane. What else? Do you need something? Do you need you to leave me alone for a while? Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. Um, uh, guess we already did all these. We need to have the best equipment possible. I've already them. upgraded the Normandy's exploration probes. I have no additional suggestions. There's something else I'd like to talk about. Ask. Have a few minutes to talk? If you wish. The last time we talked, you started speaking about a past event as if you were watching it. It was pretty creepy. Draw I want you to stop memories. doing that. We can relive any moment in our lives with perfect clarity. It's difficult to control at times. Some of us disappear into, you know, let's call it solipsism. Let's call them sloppy seconds. What do you mean solipsism? When a memory feels as real as Get a life, damn dictionary, Shepard. <laughs> Thinking about a moment brings back the smell of cut grass, the warmth of another's hand on yours, the taste of another's tongue in your mouth. You want to see? You'd lose yourself in such a memory than spend the night alone, staring at walls and metal and plastic. More I want to know. Isn't there a risk that you could lose yourself in bad memories as well? Of course. Remembering the times I've taken bullets is unpleasant. But I can look at my knee and see it's not shattered. The Anymore. memories that are hard to escape are those of despair. Okay, now it's more than I wanted to know. Isn't that a rather personal memory to talk about? The way you uh, spank it to memories of previous of sex. Time reviewing my life. I didn't mean to make you uncomfortable. With my discussion of what Shepard apparently interpreted as spanking. What do you mean? Well, it's got like a different path out of this life. besides return. Thinking about a moment brings back. Wouldn't you rather lose yourself in such a memory than spend the night alone? Oh, so you remember every hit. Walls and metal and plastic. We'll come back to that. In a you minute. can remember everything that happened in your life. Really? I expect if we remember the birth trauma, we'd never recover from it. You can relive every assassination you've ever made. In perfect. perfect detail. Every mistake I made. Oh no, he's gonna start freaking out. Oh, the slow zoom. I was convinced his eyes were gonna go all funky. He's gonna be like, billet, bullet, going through the head. Monkey death. Cries. Purple carpet. <laughs> and then come back to us. Yeah. At any moment, you could relive the guilt. Like right now. Guilt? No. I've never felt any particular guilt about my contracts. My employers killed them. My body was only the tool they used. I enjoy If you kill too. a man with your gun, do you hold the gun responsible? Bullets don't kill bullets. I mean, people. Guns do. Wait. Oh, oh never mind. <laughs> guns don't hit. Okay, so this is like their Second Amendment thing. Guns don't kill guns. People do. Well, you're a person, Thane, and I'm sci-fi lizard man sort of way. Ah, oh, he's one of the famous lizard people. My gun can't decide right from wrong. You clearly do. No, my sir. soul does. But my body is merely flesh. Flesh whose reflexes were home. That is some weak ass excuse. For humans. Some weak ass excuse. We see our body as a vessel and accept that it is not always under our control. I like to get totally tore up drunk and then murder people and tell myself it's okay. I was totally tore up drunk. So you don't assume any responsibility for the things you do? Not every Bitch. action performed by my body is a result of conscious choices. I take responsibility for those that are. Fucking pulling the trigger. What the soul fuck? distinct from the body. A spirit responsible for moral reasoning that lives on after the body's death. Our belief is just a bit more literal. Yeah. Well, you know, that all sounds good, but that is seriously not a good rationale for killing people. So. The last time we talked, you remembered one of your assassinations. Something about sunset colored eyes? Ah. Uh, that time. She was cute. They oh, the trembles on the skull. Spice on the spring wind. Sunset eyes, defiant in the scope. 
But I anyway. noticed my spotting laser and threw herself between me and the target. She couldn't see me, but she stared me down. How the hell does that work? It was odd that you just blurted that out. Just another vivid draw memory? Yeah, sure. Not no. She was a vivid person. We had a lot of sex after that ship. Did you take the shot? Not that day. The last time we talked, you remembered oh. talking about that. <laughs> a bystander noticed my spotting laser and threw herself between me and the target. She couldn't see me, but she stared me down. The last time we talked, you remember. <laughs> make you live this memory a million times. Bystander noticed Jeez. my spotting laser and threw herself between me and the target. She couldn't see. Apparently, me. this is his wife. She stared me down. I should get back to my duties. Shepard, I appreciate these chats we have. I like talking to you about how I met that guy's mother. Remember we met his son? Yeah, it's like, this is how I met your mother, only he's telling Shepard. So it was one time I was going to kill this guy, but your mom, who had sunset colored eyes, by the way, jumped in front and was like, don't do that shit. And I was like, oh, I'm in love. I'll kill this guy later, which is not around. That's pretty much what happened. You've spent a lot of your life alone, Thane. <laughs> it's pathetic. Work fulfilled me. Reading. I barely spoke to anyone outside my family. And only spoke to my family. It's like, get the fuck out of here, you freeloaders. You're the only friend I've made in ten years. That poor me, I hear, fuck you, bitch. No. This is just, yeah, he seems like such a sweet guy for a murderer who takes no responsibility for his actions. The rest of us lose as much as you do when you hold yourself apart. Oh, come on. I found man. it difficult to sit in the ship's mess for meals. I'm used to keeping my back against a wall, facing the doors. I'm trying to relax, find my center. Facing the doors? You have like some kind of desire to go murder Jim Morrison? Shepard, come talk to me, and I'll point my butt right at the camera. Rupert, there's something different with tonight's mail. Hey. Seems like you put in more food and less ass. Yeah, yeah, keep talking. Ass counts as food, you know. How can I help you, Commander? You have everything you need. Absolutely. Since you set up my kitchen with proper supplies, thanks again. Ah. I won't take any more of your time. <laughs> Get back to work. All right, family one, you don't have to eat ass. All right. He doesn't find anything like that, guys. Being ridiculous. Shepard, need me for this something? This video is going to end up double length because of these conversations. My bad. Have you got a minute? Sure, just killing time anyway. You sure you don't need to I calibrate to some shit? I thank you again for your help with Sedonis. Whatever happens with the Collectors or the Reapers or whoever else comes after us. I know you'll get the job done. Interesting. That response makes it completely ambiguous whether we let him kill Sedona's. You actually think we'll find something worse than collectors or reapers? Do. I like to expect the worst. There's a small chance I'll be pleasantly surprised. There might be super reapers from Mass Effect 4. I couldn't do this without you, oh, Garrus. Kiss him. Sure you kiss him. Not as stylishly, of hey, course. Shepard. It's strange Garrus going into a suicide mission on a human cool. ship. <laughs> People don't prepare for high-risk operations the way Turians do. You guys end up preparing for high-risk operations by getting drunk and moody. I thought you'd be used to high-risk operations on human ships. I mean, think about tracking Saren to Iowa. You know about Saren, Shepard. Sure, but that was quick. We raced out, landed, blew up some geth, and saved no, the I galaxy. No, I did some, some, some uh, optional missions before and that. Soberous, and that AI all telling us what we're up against. I think I preferred blind optimism. You ever gonna rejoin CSEC? I mean, I tried to tell you to do. That you made it clear at the end of the first game that I had convinced you to rejoin CSEC, asshole. Do you ever regret leaving CSEC or the Turian military? Not for a minute. When it comes down to it, Shepard, I don't think I'm a very good. Turian. I'd make a much better vegetable plate. When a good Turian hears a bad order, he follows it. He might complain, but he knows his. You know, a I just don't see the point in staying quiet and polite. Not when the galaxy is at stake. What about Ilos? <laughs> Is Ilos at stake? How do Turian crews get ready for high-risk missions? Liquor. With violence, Much like you. usually. Turian ships have more operational discipline than your alliance, but fewer personal restrictions. Our commanders run us tight, and they know we need to blow off steam. Turian ships have training rooms for exercise, combat sims, even full-contact sparring. Whatever lets people work off stress. What about Ilos? You mean Turian ships have crewmen fighting each other before a mission? 
It's supervised, of course. Nobody's going to risk an injury that interferes with the mission, and it's a good. You ever seen American Gladiators? That thing where they poke each other with a stick that has like padding on the end. That's what we do. About to hit a Batarian pirate squad. Very risky. This recon scout and I had been at each other's throats, nerves mostly. She suggested we settle it in the room. I suggested we settle it with my penis. What about Arlo's? <laughs> I assume you took her down gently. Oh, yeah. Actually, she and I were the top-ranked hand-to-hand -hand specialists on the ship. I had reach, but she had flexibility. He had sex, didn't he? It was brutal. After nine rounds, the judge called it a draw. There were a lot of unhappy betters in the training room. And one room. really happy better. Yeah, uh, ended up holding a tiebreaker in her quarters. I had reach, but uh, she had flexibility. More than one way to work off stress, I guess. What about Arlos? It's like, <laughs> it's funny, because you fucked. What about Eyeless? You guys ever fuck on Eyeless? <laughs> what the hell? I'm getting punch drunk. I need to wrap this session. Honestly, Garrett, what do you think our chances are? Honestly, My chances with that chick if I had to fought her first. You once and all they did is piss you off. I can't imagine they'll stop you this time. But an unmapped area, advanced technology, and the collectors. We're going to lose people. No way around that. Not a happy analysis, I know. Don't worry. I won't spread it around. I'm with you regardless. But what about Ilos? We're gonna lose people, Shepard. Well, unless you do all the optional missions. Maybe some DLC. Hell, send Bioware a check. Everyone will come out of this fine. Thanks for the talk, Garrus. I'll see you Thanks later. Up, big man. Sure thing. Actually. Shepard, need me for something? And no. There's nothing else to tell. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. Monitoring station. Oh. Oh, it's updated to the codex. Okay, never mind. We don't actually learn anything easy. Disruptor torpedoes. I don't think that has anything to do with having talked to Garrus. Although maybe maybe that popped up because of the Normandy upgrades we got. Either way, I don't think that makes a difference. The getting the Normandy upgrades makes a difference. I don't think reading about or have adding them to the codex is going to change whether we survive the big suicide mission it's suicide mission at the end of the game anyway yeah so we got to have our little chats with everybody and it pushed the video out much longer than i kind of anticipated i never quite seemed to realize no messages for you Commander. thanks smelly kelly with your heli just as good as you kelly never quite seemed to get just how long this conversation is going to take. It's like a whole video unto itself every time I have more than one of those conversations. And as a result, the last video of this particular recording, well, it's 43 minutes. All of them have been long. This one's not crazy long. I mean, yeah. I... Again, I mentioned Bobo a video or two back. Yeah, he's he, one of his big gripes, and I think part of the reason he's not watching this series is that the videos are ungodly length, in his opinion. But anyway, so we went about 45 minutes here, so I better wrap it. When we come back, well, let's... Let me make a... Let me uh, figure out what I'm going to do in the next video so that I can then totally fail to do it. There is an anomaly, but it's in the same system as the mass relay, which is handy, actually. It means I won't have to go do it later and then refuel. So, where's the mass relay? The mass relay is over here. What I might do, I was going to say I could make a promise about our next mission and then uh, actually do... And then it'll be, curious, it'll be amusing for you guys to see whether I actually keep that promise because I'll be doing a new video. Sit down session. But or the other thing I could do is just jump into the next system where I want to do a mission. Um, want to help Tally or Jack? Let's help Jack first. I mean... Tally knows we love her. We don't need to prove it, right? That's how it works when you love a woman. You don't need to tell her because she knows. You never bother to tell her. It's just wasted words. <laughs> anyway. We can help Jack because we're in the Pragya system, which is the home of Jack helping. And uh, next time we will help Jack, then we will help Tally. And um, I've decided I'm going to leave Samara's mission. Well, the Samara and Miranda's mission will be dead last. So Samara's will probably be second to last. So, we've got our path for the next few videos. I'm Mysterious CG. Thank you very much for watching. I'm just about to hit 45 minutes, so before I do that, I better quit now. Bye.